patient. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. How's it, guys? Travis from Ostrich Lomnik here. Well, I hope you guys are in build, uh, enjoying the build. Uh, next part I'm going to do is a bit of silver painting. I was going to spray paint it and get it done quickly, but my little kitty cat right over here, right there has decided to have a nice little sleep because I think it's starting to get cold with that big storm in Cape Town I think the cold weather is starting to hit us so I decided I'll rather paint it on my hand and not set up the compressor and scare the crap out of the cat so I'm gonna let him sleep and I'm gonna paint the stuff rather by hand so let's just get over to the workbench and then we can start painting a little bit I'll do a little bit of painting by hand not much and then i'll get back to you with the gluing of the parts into position so be back now okay guys all of these parts up here and these couple here all have to go silver Paintbrush ready and my paint ready. And let's get started. Of course, most of this stuff won't, won't even be seen when you see the look at the plane properly. It'll be there, but you won't see it that clearly because there'll be bombs on it and all sorts of stuff in front of it and of course it's on the bottom of the plane so unless you really look underneath the plane properly and these are little details which you don't really see that well Okay, so that is that one done for now. And now we can flip it over and just to the bottom. Not all of it will be hidden by the glue, so there's parts that need to be done. So I'll just do the whole thing and get it over and done with. Okay, that's that one's done. Now, to get started with these ones over here.
opposite side. So that's done. And as you can see, they pretty small pieces, those ones. Quite a lot of them. And then the other ones are these over here. So the others. So I'm going to let this dry, clean my paintbrush, get all that done, and I'll be back later with the gluing them onto the aeroplane. Be back now now. Okay guys, I'm going to start with these couple here first. Uh, there is a little spot there. And there, which I forgot to touch up, but I'll touch that up later. Okay, so those ones are these, my, these ones that are quite a few of. Do one side and not both. Great, and there I just dropped one. This is turning out not to be my day. Just great. Two. Oh, great, I dropped two. found them thank goodness okay let's see they gotta go into these grooves
the first two done. Next two. Oh. Sorry guys, didn't realise I was that badly out of focus. Oh, not zoomed in properly. Well, as you can see, all of those are now in place. Just got a couple to put on the other side. Now let's quickly get three of those ones. the first one That one went in better now.
Okay guys, that's everything for now. Be back in a few seconds. Be back now now. Okay guys, I'm now going to put a part there. Once again, I'll only do the one side. The other side I'll do off camera. Okay guys, there's that one in place. I just quickly want to re-maneuver the camera a little bit up and over. Over there is going to go the next part. Just need to quickly get it off the tree. I just quickly want to get my eyes on the way I put them. This is going to be too difficult. I need a set of tweezers. who wants to be stubborn. Okay, there we go guys, there's some quite small parts, Let's see if I can zoom in a bit on it. There it goes, the camera doesn't want to cooperate. Oh, there you go, you can smallly see how small it is. So I'll 
just got to glue the other two on the other side and I'll be back nano with something else okay guys I've masked off the aeroplane side of the air brake that's where the air brake lays in where the planes flying uh, as you can see I've used a piece of an old magazine you can use almost anything just to mask it off so you don't have to use that much tape so stuff like old magazines can work okay uh, once again sorry for the noise of the compressor let me just check and make sure my gun's spraying Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Don't know why the lid popped off there. Okay guys, there's that part done. Next I'm going to spray the inside of this. This piece of here goes over there. So let's just quickly move that over. That can start drying. And quickly spray this one.
Oops. Sorry guys, for some reason it went out of focus. Sorry about that guys, I forgot to reposition the camera anyway. There we go. That piece is now sprayed, that will go on the top. There are some little parts which I've got to spray paint white. It's got to go white and silver, but that I'll spray paint off camera. Be back now now. Okay guys, these are the intake covers. They must go be sprayed red. So let's spray them. Did the camera go out of focus again? <sighs> Sorry about that guys. Hopefully it wasn't out of focus too long. Don't know why it did that. <sighs> Crazy, I don't know why it did that. Okay guys, hopefully you saw everything I did there. I uh, just realized why my white paint wasn't spraying as nice as it should have. I forgot to put thinners in. So if you're wondering why it wasn't spraying that well, it's because I was a dumbass and forgot to put thinners in. Okay guys, be back now now. Okay guys, I'm going to start assembling the components for the different missiles and stuff on the sprue like this half I will have to cut off and glue to that half leave it on so when I spray paint it I can use the sprue to be able to turn and handle it and get everywhere once I've cut it off there of course I'll just go and paint it over by hand and fix it up that way at least it will look nice I don't have to handle it or try to figure out a way to glue it. Ah, spray paint it. So. Ah, that's a little bit thick. Let me quickly get my cutter. See if I can find that. Got it. First one. That's the second one. So that half I'll leave in position. has to get glued to that half these ones are just the tail fins and then there's a couple of there which I will do now now okay so let's start getting gluing
Okay, that's all done. Uh, here's the glue. Okay, so I'm going to start with these four missiles. And get them glued first. Good. Next one. Oops, I forgot to trim this one. Okay, there the first four fins are on the missiles. Next it is the other side. I just want to cut this into two sections.
<sighs> Come on, just go in the hole. Oh, stop sticking to my finger. Sorry, guys, this one wants to stick to my finger. <sighs> Somehow the glue managed to get out of position. Ah, ah, this one does not want to cooperate. Okay, one more to go then, the missiles are done, thank goodness. Okay guys, the missiles are done. I'm going to let them dry. I'll get back to them right now. Then I can get to the bombs. Uh, let me see how these other things go together. If I can find them. Which I don't think I will be able to. So I don't really show anything. So they're a bit confusing. Once it parts off.
these two quickly together. area it's nothing but a small area see for that little piece there and drop this on top like that Okay, but these two over here, I don't know what they're supposed to be. I'm going to glue them together and try to figure out later where the heck they're supposed to go. Because I don't know what they are, they look like. Air intakes or something. But I can't figure it out for what. I'm just going to do them so long and then later on I will figure it out. Like this is supposed to be for something and they never put the other part on. I have no idea what it's supposed to be but anyway. Yeah, that's for all those bombs the only things I still got to do is assemble these I assume they bombs but I'll do that later on be back now now how's it guys okay in this part I have to put this little bomb carrier in position now this hole over here was a little bit too small and this hole over here didn't exist so I had to drill it quickly uh, didn't think about recording it so this has to go into place over there just zoom a little bit in a little bit out there we go as you can see that's where it is I still got to do some touch-ups on that. When I sprayed it, I didn't realize it didn't get there. So, let's apply the glue.
Okay. There we go. I hope that it's in the right place because it looks in the right place. I think I've made a mistake. Crap. <sighs> okay. Well, there's another big fix up. Uh, something doesn't look right to me, so that's why I pulled it off. Okay, guys, I'll be back now. Now, once I try to figure out what the hell's going on here. So just notice that none of the holes on the bottom of this thing is actually here, which makes no sense. So I've got some fixing up to do. Be back now now. Okay guys, I think I figured it out by looking at the picture and everything. It looks like this must go there, something like that. So, so what I've done is I've cut these pins off because I don't feel like drilling new holes and just going to re-glue it Okay, I'll let that dry and then I'll just go with a paintbrush and do some touch-ups. Next I've got to figure out these other missile holders. Let's see. But they are part of something, they've got to go over here somewhere. And once again, there's no holes for them that I can see. Somehow the holes are missing. I don't know if I missed a step. Let's just take a look. Yeah, I did miss a step. The holes aren't there, you gotta drill them. And I forgot. Zoom out. This step I missed. It shows you on the inside where to drill the holes. And I kind of forgot to do that. No wonder I can't find them. Okay, that is one big mistake of my own. Oh well, guys, I'm not so serious. I can more or less work out where they got to be and drill the holes. So that's not serious. I'm going to let this dry for now, and I'll be back now now. See you soon. Okay guys, these parts I can't put on yet onto the airplanes because when you glue these into position, getting this missile into place on this side is going to be too close to the fuselage. So I've decided this one I will glue now give it its final coat of paint and everything assemble all the bombs and missiles and then assemble this separate so what I've got to do is now glue all these parts onto the sides of them so I'll do one section at a time so it can dry and then I can handle it 
when I do the other side without one of to worry. So that must go into position there. And I've got to let it dry. Okay. Get some glue into place. First one. The other side will be exactly the same, so I won't show you that side. But once everything's done, I'll show you what it looks like. There's some flesh I didn't see. Okay guys, be back now. Okay guys, next I'm going to be gluing the little gadgets there. Same like uh, that little one there. Okay, so first thing, some glue. Okay, so that is the next part there. Next is to give it a clear coat so I can start putting all the decals on. What I have done also is I've just put the canopy together, put, use just some canopy glue. I still got to mask that off him painted got some little touch-ups to do that's busy drying the missile or the pods that's got to go onto the wings to hold the stuff is done once all the missiles and the weaponry is in they'll go over there like that so that's everything for now be back now now Okay guys, what I'm going to do now is just give everything here a coat of the base colour which the aeroplane is painted in. Then get all the missiles and bombs and everything done. Once everything's painted, then I can give everything a clear coat and start assembling the decals. Well, start applying the decals, should I say. So. Sorry for the noise. Stick that down with some plastic.
Seems like nothing wants to cooperate today. That's it for now. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll paint the other side. So I'll be back later. Okay, guys, I'm now gonna give the other side its coat of paint. Sorry for the noise.
Okay guys, that's it. Now I'm gonna let the paint dry. Be back now now. Okay guys, I'm gonna spray the clear coat. Uh, sorry for the noise. Okay, here we go with a clear coat. give this a little bit of time to dry then I'll come back with the other side uh, so that's that piece for now I'll be back now okay guys let's quickly do the top oops forgot to switch on the compressor sorry about that Now, for some reason, the plane doesn't want to stay where it's supposed to stay. Thank you. Okay guys, that's everything for now. Be back in a minute. Okay guys, that's everything for this video. The next video I'm going to start putting the decals onto the aircraft. Get that all done. Then once the decals are on the aeroplane itself, start with putting on the bombs and all that stuff at the bottom once the whole bottom's done then i can flip it over glue all the stuff onto the top of the aircraft give a clear coat and everything glue everything all in place and then hopefully i'll be done so maybe one more video and then this plane bolt will be finished on another note I dropped my spray gun, my airbrush, a uh, stupid little accident, and the 
impact with the ground obviously was hard enough and it bent the little gadget which you apply the pressure to uh, I don't know how to explain it where your pin goes through it tightens and then that pulls the whole pin back and forward that bends slightly and I tried to like an idiot fix it bend it a little bit straight so it doesn't go through so tight and I kind of stuffed it up so um, I'm going to have to buy a new spray gun in sometime in the future and of course cash is a bit of a problem but anyway <sighs> my luck just keeps getting crapper but anyway guys that's the build so far I hope you guys are enjoying it so live long and prosperous and happy modeling enjoy whatever you're building cheers guys see you in the next video ciao